Hello, here is Manuel and today I'm going to talk about how to become a digital nomad. A digital nomad is a person that is working and traveling at the same time, trying to get the best of, out of these two worlds. So he's traveling, he's doing or she's doing all those cool things that he or she always wanted to do and he's working and therefore he gets the money that he needs to travel. So it's sort of self-sustainable. The reason I can talk about this is because I actually come from both worlds. Uh, so I'm a, uh, I always been a software developer since the beginning of my working life. So I know what you need to work on a PC. And uh, I travel for one year. For some people, one year might not look like that much. For others, might be wow, eternity. Truth is, is that after three, four, five months, you just get the routine and the tricks that you need to keep traveling. Not that difficult. Uh, so, one other thing, this might be not the best time to talk about traveling. So this uh, video is was made in January 2021, COVID times, pandemic. And so, yeah, in fact, I invite you to please stay home, save lives. Uh, but at the same time, I think this is the best opportunity that you have to start thinking about becoming a digital. No. And let me tell you why. First of all, uh, uh, one of the most important things is the mentality. It takes time to actually put yourself in the situation of, or in the, uh, yeah, to, to go out, to take the first step out of that door and become a digital nomad. Second, uh, in the future we will solve this situation. It's not that we will always stay locked down in our houses. Before or later, the countries will open up again. Might be this year, probably it's gonna be this year or the next one. And third, your boss, if you have a boss. Thing is that you have been working from home or away from office for at least one year. Or nine months. The thing is that your boss is now more accepting this idea of people working away from home and probably he's gonna be the one that is gonna work from home more than before so if you want to take out this opportunity out of him when we will open up again you will probably have the best chance to get what you want and go and ask him if you can work from other places there might be some legal problems but you know you can find way the, ways around it so these are the things that you have to think about if you want to become a digital nomad first of all the places that you want to see and visit that's the first reason you actually want to become a digital nomad right second money if you have no money you cannot go anywhere third is do you want to travel by yourself with a friend or with your partner these are all very different experiences then, fourth is transportation. How do you go from point A to point B? And as you'll see, it's much more simple than what it looks like. So these points, four points, they were all about traveling. What about working? So we have to think about time. It's very important. We have to understand how we can schedule uh, the work and how do we organize the time then what kind of job you have do you always need to be connected and therefore online or you can be disconnected for longer periods of time so offline kind of job and then last but not least you have to think about security first of all security of yourself so you don't want to put yourself in situations which are dangerous for you but also about your equipment safety of your equipment meaning you always want to be sure that your PC or cameras or anything that you need for your work is safe. And you will see tricks about that too. So this is the end of the video. I'm not gonna talk about all these topics in this one because it will become extremely long and very hard to follow. I would rather prefer to divide and talk about each topic in its own video so that if you're interested in something specific, 
you just go there and watch it so having said that thanks a lot for watching and see you soon